Welcome to Black Gods of Yahweh Media. And we're in the power of, and the glory of, and the good of, Yud Hate Wab Hey, Yahweh. In the name of Yud Hate Wab Hey, Beit Noon Sophie, Yud Hate Wab Hey, Yahweh Ben Yahweh. I want to say Shalom. Today, I was thinking about something. I didn't have a video plan, but I was really thinking heavily about all the dysfunction in the so-called black community. And as I go back years until today, I was meditating in thought and speaking to Yahweh. And I was saying, I'm really tired of the destructive behavior in the so-called black community. The lost sheep of the house of Israel in America. And it's to the point that I said to myself, I can't wait to judgment is abound on these individuals who hate one another because that's what it is. You can't turn on the internet and black social media without seeing dysfunction. Just plain and simple, we hate each other. There is nothing but dysfunction. There is nothing but foolishness, negativity, a cesspool of wickedness. You got scammers in the community, money, peddlers, you got rapists and pedophiles. You got gender war hustlers. You got just wicked people all the way around doing nothing but destroying the community. You know what B1 means? It means attack blacks first. You got the doxing community. And each individual that I have up here on this picture represents something. All of them represent something. Five out of the six, I know for a fact, is something negative. You have at the top, Kevin Samuels. He represents the gender war, black men against black women, of the anti-black woman sphere. He is the ringleader. And if you go to the bottom right, you have Cynthia G. She is the ringleader of the anti-black male, hate black male platforms. You have to the top right, Sarn Netter, who is the leader of the unconscious, the corruption, the fake pro-black community who's done nothing but scam and destroy people and deceive people. You got Clea Amani, a known agent, a known COINTELPRO agent who actually said that he was, he's admitted to this, who took down the master teacher and Messiah of the nation of Yahweh. The first thing I want to do as a messenger of Yahweh is let Son Netter know, in my opinion, that when he brought on the man in the top middle, Khalil Amani, to desecrate the name of Yahweh Ben Yahweh, in my opinion, all he did was mark himself for judgment. All of the wickedness in the house of consciousness that's been going on, all of the destructive behavior, and it is destructive behavior anytime you don't do anything but attack your own people. Whether it's attack on the Hebrew Israelite community, whether it's attack on the Moors, it's just attack on black people, so-called black people, your own people. At the end of the day, it's not building anything. Once upon a time, it was a good platform but always once greed set in, that is the hallmark of destruction. 
all of the allowing wickedness to occur in the house of consciousness. Money scammers, that's already been, been proven. This has already been talked about, already been exposed. The knowing of wickedness, raping of young girls, molesting, all of these illegal actions are going to come to light. Nothing in the darkness stays in darkness. It always comes to the light. Now I want to move to Tasha K. She is the vessel that is being used to get the ball rolling to start the end of these fake pro-black social media platforms. All of these fake pro-black spaces that are nothing but conscious community hustlers. It started right now. The ball has started rolling. And nobody is going to be spared. All of you are going down. Every single one of you. They do nothing but destroy, disrespect, and put down your own people. All of you are going down. Every single one. It's not going to be right at the same time. But the dominoes has started to fall. As it pertains to Tasha K, I like her one-on-one -on -one interviews. This is not a Tasha K promotion, but when she puts down, puts out information, when she does her media, it is very disrespectful by the mouth. It's nothing but cursing and guile by the tongue. But that's how she does her delivery when she does her commentary. But she is a vessel that's going to be used to destroy the house of corruption. Because that's all it is. See, Yahweh works in mysterious ways. And all of these people that's done nothing but harm their own, has hustled money, has doxed. Yes, there are serious doxers in the black community. I know about them. People who put other people's personal information out. And call the police on people. Uh, fake 911 calls and could have people shot and killed telling lies to the authorities doxing this is what these people do all of the wickedness is about to be destroyed in the fake pro-black conscious community social media areas all of these spaces as a matter of fact you got something the very name called the beef sector you have a beef sector that's what they call this is within black social media on youtube the beef sector so all you are doing is you're admitting that you have created a space for so-called black people to fight amongst each other the beef sector this is madness. We are truly in the days of Noah. Brother Polite, everybody already knows about him. He's just about finished. All of the wickedness, all of the illegal stuff is going to come to light. The dominoes have just started to drop. Because once Tasha K gets on you, then you're going to be exposed. She is a vessel for that. You wanted attention, she's giving you attention. You're going to get attention now. She may not be the ones to take down the gender war warriors and leaders. She may not be the ones to take down the COINTELPRO in the black community, but those dominoes are going to fall too. That ball is going to start rolling as well. All of you, everybody here, everybody that you see here is finished. Your Whatever career that you have on social media is about to end. And if you are doing something illegal, it's going to come to light. Every single one of you, a lot of people who are like-minded of myself is sick and tired of the destructive behavior and the hatred amongst each other and the so-called black community on social media. It's just ridiculous. 
you have to search hard to find a platform of so-called black Americans that are talking about positive stuff. That every time they put out information, they can do this without M F R B I T C H cursing, swearing, and just talking foul by the mouth. I can barely even listen to people. There's individuals out there that I really like, but they can't go two sentences without cursing. They can't get their message across without speaking guile. If you want to know how to do that, come to my platform. It's only got 400 subscribers, but you can go through every video. I can deliver a message without cursing. Just because society does it does not mean that you have to swear every other word every time you put a message out. As a matter of fact, we're at the point that we think it's weak if you're not speaking guile or speaking foul mouth. Positive has become negative. Good has become evil. We're going to go to some scriptures. Y'all know how we do. We're going to go to Luke 12 and 53. The father shall be divided against the son and the son against the father, the mother against the daughter and the daughter against the mother, the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and the daughter-in-law against the mother-in-law. That's that just means the black community right there. That's what I read. Everybody against everybody. In fighting everywhere. It is said to love thy neighbor as thyself. When you look at that scripture and you break that scripture down through the dictionary and thesaurus and concordance and lexicon, your neighbor is not just anybody that lives beside you. In a biblical context, that is your black family. And you guys hate each other. We're going to go to Matthew 12, 24 and 12, Salakia. And because iniquity, which is sin, shall abound, and the love of many shall wax cold. The love of many shall wax cold. What does that mean? That means that there is no respect and there's no love for anybody. We don't care how we talk to each other. We don't care how we treat each other. There is no love between the so-called black community anymore. Not in this social media spaces, not in this fake bro, pro black hemisphere. We're living in those times right now. And the ball has started to roll. All of the darkness is coming to light. All of the dysfunctional people who have used the platform of social media to destroy and take down one, one another, to scam, to dox, to make money off gender divide. All of these people are going down. This is just the beginning. This is Black Gods of Yahweh Media. I want to say again, peace and shalom. Hallelujah. Yahweh. Hallelujah. Yahweh. Ben Yahweh. Peace.